Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Kingdom greetings and grace and peace to each and every one of you. With love from God, our Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Prophet Zahima McLean here. Amen. It's truly, it's truly a pleasure and honor to be um, back on here. Amen. I do see some of you joining me. I'm just going to wait for a uh, few people to join on. I do have an announcement. Amen. So I'm just going to wait for my audience to, to build. But I pray all of you are doing well today. Amen. It's truly a blessing to be um, alive yet another day in the land of the living. And God is amazing. God is just have been preserving us. God has been keeping us. For those of you who are joining in, just go ahead and represent your city and state. I just do have an announcement that I want to make. Um, I'm going to just share a few words with you and um, and then disconnect. So I won't hold up too much of your time. Amen. So I do see Carissa on here. God bless you. I see the men of God, Dwayne Benjamin, uh, Jennifer Parks. I see Timothy Dean. I see Apostle Chime. God bless you. I do see um, Bishop Carswell Jackson. All right, Marcia Campbell Jones. So those of you who are joining me, I do have a brief announcement. Listen, today um, we're going to be having uh, my Kingdom Global Impact. A prayer conference call line. It's called entitled A Cry for the Nations. A Cry for the Nations. Okay. We're going to be on today. The Holy Spirit and I partnered. Amen. And he told me, he said he wanted me to do a prayer conference call. I've been doing it for about three years now, but I, I had kind of stopped. And so I'm doing it again. It's going to be a cry for the nations. Uh, and this prayer conference call, I'm going to be having a few other prophets, uh, ministers, and pastors are on it. It's today. So it's Monday, April the 13th, today, beginning officially from 3 all the way to 9 p.m. I don't know. I, I, post, I posted off the flyer, but here's the flyer, okay? I don't want you to miss it. It's going to be a blessing for those of you who need personal deliverance. This is the time to capitalize on this moment. If you need personal deliverance, then you need to get on the line. I'm telling you, these are some prophetic, powerful voices and you don't want to miss it. Okay. We're going to be starting officially at 3 p.m. all the way to 9 p.m. We're going to be praying for the nations. Um, but for those of you, yes, I'm going to provide the information for those of you, um, who need personal deliverance, this is the time. If you have sickness in your body, you want to jump in on the line. Um, if you want to pray for someone who has COVID, you want to jump in on the line. You're going to be giving specific instructions, okay? So the information is as follow. Um, in the conference call line is 712-770-4598. I'm going to put that up, okay? So while I'm talking to you, I'm going to put that up. The information... Is 712, okay, 712, 770, 4598, okay? And the access code, for those of you, access code. Now, if you are, um, if you are a Metro PCS, um, if your server is Metro PCS, there is a, a, an app that you can download, okay? And I'm going to post that app on my page so that you can be able to gain access. But I don't want you to miss it. If you are in need of personal prayer, this is the time for you to be on, okay? Because I won't be able to respond to anybody afterwards, okay? This is the information. I just pinned it on the bottom of the line. If you need personal deliverance, demons been tormenting you, tormenting your family, generational curses, um, evil altars in your life. You can't get pregnant. You can't get married. Any situation you're dealing with, this is the time to jump on. If you need healing in your body, jump on. If you want a prophetic word from the Lord, say, Lord, I need direction. I need divine alignment in my life. I don't know which way to turn. I feel like I'm lost. God, somebody help me to activate my prophetic destiny. What is the call for my life? What is... um. What is God saying concerning me? I want you to jump in on this broadcasting, okay? So please, please, please jump on. Don't wait to afterwards to say, hey, woman of God, I need prayer. This is the time you want to jump on. It's going to start officially at 3 p.m. I'm going to be on at 2, and it's going to officially be on at 3, okay? So I'm going to be on at 2 to take down any prayer requests so when the people are jumping in on the line, you can be able to gain access. If you are Metro PCS um, server, okay, then there's an app you can download. The app is called um, Free Conference 
line. Okay, and then you can get the information. On my page, it's posted the flyer with a number and the access code. Again, it's today from 3, officially 3 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the number is 712-770-4598. Access code is 876-456 uh, and it's pinned at the bottom. Okay, invite your friends. I want you to tag some people on and I want you to get on. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, because number one, the Bible says men ought always to pray and not to faint. Let Satan get an advantage of you. And the reason why Satan is getting the upper hand in the advantage is because we're not praying as we ought to. The Bible says that the watchmen have to be on the, uh, on the tower in this hour. Whether you're on the tower, whether you're on your altar, whatever it is, you have to make sure that you begin to pray. There are people dying daily. There are souls that are perishing. People who are dealing with so much um, a demonic backlash and they don't know what to do. They don't know what to turn. The church is the answer. Amen. Jesus is the solution. It's not the government. It's not your stimulus package check. It's not President Trump. It's not the governmental officials. Listen, nobody can have the solution um, to all of this but God. And that's why we have to pray. And I said it frequently. Uh, this says if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray turn from the wicked way seek my face then I will hear their land healing is inevitable but it's only contingent upon what we do so it requires our active participation it requires for us to pray it's time for us to shake up out of our, out of our slumber out of our place of complacency out of our place of comfortability and begin to pray fervently. Amen. The enemy don't want this to happen. So I want you to jump in on the line, okay? Uh, you said that you're in need, Alvina, in need of prayer and encouragement. Then please join the prayer line. Is I'm making this an all-day thing. Secondly, the reason why I wanted to put this together... It's because I said, you know, the Lord's been revealing to me, it's time for the body of Christ to come together and to begin to pray. It's time out for um, you're in your corner and I'm in my corner. Listen, let me share this because I find that... Oh, um, for the most part, in the body of Christ, people don't want to get together to collaborate uh, to impact the kingdom. Listen, we can never impact the kingdom acting like an island. No man is an island to himself. The Bible says when they are all together on one accord in the upper room, then there was um, an Holy Ghost experience. Then there was an encounter. It requires unity. But if you're in your corner and I'm in my corner and I don't want to be on your fly and you... You know, I, I've asked people on this week, and that's what really troubled me. I said, on this week, I said, I reached out to many people. I said, hey, do you want to collaborate? Do you want to get on the prayer line? Let's work together. Let's impact the kingdom. You know, it, it's no one-man show. And, and you'd be surprised. In the midst of this, um, uh, and I'm not trying to badger anyone, but in the midst of this crisis that we're dealing with, you'd be surprised people did not want to pray. People did not want to collaborate. Some people say, oh, I have to check my schedule. No, we're, we're, in fact, we're on a lockdown. We're on a shutdown. We're quarantined. So what kind of schedule there is? Because there's no speaking engagement. You're not that busy. You know, and it's so sad to see that people want to do their own thing because they want their own numbers high or they want their own, you know, a fan base or I don't want you to steal my people and I don't want you to steal my offering. Listen, it's not a about that when you learn to put that aside amen and we come together as one voice it's one faith one baptism one lord over all okay it's not about you and me prophets the hebrew or you got thousand people or you got hundred people listen listen i'm not selfish when it comes to sharing my uh, sharing the platform because first of all it's not my platform it's god's presence that's making a difference are you hearing me i don't care Okay, if you, one can chase a thousand, two, ten thousand to flight. If you got a ten thousand people and I got a hundred, that's all right. Amen, because we're all impacting the kingdom. We're all impacting the kingdom. We don't get the glory anyway. We don't get the credit anyway. Huh? It's not about us. So if your voice is resonating to God be the glory, maybe you can get the east, I get the south, you get the north, I get the west. We have to make sure we're covering all of this from all corners of the earth. Amen. Because watch this, the satanic kingdom is advancing. I'm sure many of you see that we're different in the middle of a plague. Uh, uh, witches and warlocks are at the White House house doing their rituals and ceremony. And where is the church in all of this? Where is the church in all of this? We've got to get together and make an impact. 
impact so that we can change lives, that we can break up the folly ground, so that we can set the captives free. That's why women of God still in the flesh. So I want you to know today that, uh, again, I'm, I'm making sure that we're coming together as a unified body of believers. Sad to say, I could not ask those people who are prominent because the truth be told, pride has gotten in the way. And then not until we get rid of that pride and we learn to humble ourselves, how we humble ourselves and, and begin to pray, that's when God will answer. How, so that what I decided to do, I said, Lord, uh, and th if that be the case, I'm going to use those Davids that are in the caves that are coming up, that have a true authentic voice, their willingness, they're willing to do it. And I said, all right. And so let me tell you, here's the, uh, the flyer and the information. It's on my page. page. Listen, don't underestimate those that are coming out, the emerging voices in this generation. Don't underestimate it because I'm telling you, that's how so many people miss God. You know, people thought that Jesus was going to show as this big Messiah and the king of the world. No, he showed up as a humble carpenter. Don't miss God because you are not familiar with the faces on the flyer. Are you hearing me? Because I'm telling you, there have been many faces on flyers year after year after year, decade after decade, and it still ain't no revival. So I'm not trying to um, badger anybody, but that's the truth. You have same faces on the same flyers year after year after year, and there's no revival. There's no transformation, no reformation, no change, nobody getting delivered, nobody being set free. So why not use those that are coming out in merging voices that they have a word and they're sincere and they are authentic. So don't miss God because you don't recognize the faces on the flyer. Listen, these people will take time to pray with you. They're diligent. They're raw. They are authentic. God is using them exponentially. So I want you to jump in all 89 of you. Um, please, the information is there. Veronica Hollinsworth, she's one of them. Amen. Listen, I'm going to be prophesying um, uh, in my segment, I'm going to be prophesying, doing um, live deliverance, um, and don't be un be unashamed. When you're on there, you don't have to disclose your um, identity, okay? But be unashamed. If demons are tormenting you and they start to manifest, let them manifest. That's what this is about. This is a kingdom movement. What Right now, God is not dealing with church. He's dealing with kingdom. That's why he had to allow the church doors to be shut down so that we can mobilize the kingdom in such a time as this. Now listen, that's the assignment that God has given me. That's why this, um, uh, my ministry is called Kingdom Global Impact. This is not just to impact the church locally. This is a global movement. And we are going to storm the heavens. We're going to open up the pillars of heavens with our prayer. And we're going to impact the nations until God calls us home. Amen. I'm not going to be silent until God says, You're well done, thou good and faithful servant. Let's go ahead and impact the kingdom. Listen, join me on three at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, all the way to 9 p.m. to hear these dynamic voices. I'm going to jump on at 2 o'clock right now just to test it out to make sure everything's okay. And if you're on there, just go ahead and wait for me, amen, and I'll take requests, and then you can join back in on at 3 o'clock. The first speaker that we're going to have, um, I, I don't want to disclose names because I don't want people to be biased, but this... This prophet of the Lord, I'm telling you, she's going to prophesy to you to thy kingdom come. So you want to make sure that you join her. This, she's starting it off. She's going to be prophesying to many of you. She's on fire for the Lord. Uh, I, I mean, she has um, her ministry. She has, um, it's called um, JLC, Jesus Life Company. She's incorporated. Uh, and let me tell you. She goes out there with other churches. She does Christian marches. I mean, saving the cities for, um, like, you have, you have God in the city? Well, that's what she does. But her company name is JLC, Jesus Life Company. And she goes from region to region, state to state, to impact um, nations. She does Christian counseling, all of the above, prophecy. So you don't want to miss it, all right? Guys, go ahead and join me. I have a prophet on there from Iran. Huh? From Iran. So no, it will not be streaming on live Facebook because of confidentiality purposes, um, but when we have a prophet on there from Iran, so this gospel is getting out, okay, one from Virginia, one from Texas, from New York, from Jamaica, listen, this is going to be powerful, all right, we have a, a pastor on there, she's from Nigeria, so she's going to go in on the prayer, don't miss it, that's all I wanted to share, again, it's 712-770-4598 uh, access code is 876-456-POUND if you are Metro PCS server um, uh, download the free conference call app I'm going to post it on my page the information is on my page if you are having difficulty tuning in, logging in 
then all you have to do is inbox me. There's a backdoor number that I can give you if you are having trouble to get in. Okay, so I can provide you a backdoor number um, as well as uh, the, the app. Okay, see you then. I'm going to join. I'm going to jump on now. Amen. Play a little worship music. Those who want to put the request in advance, you can. Or you can just wait till 3 o'clock. All right? God bless you. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. Amen. Let's storm the nations. Amen. And we're going to dethrone the powers of hell for the glory and honor of God. Let's advance the kingdom. I love you. Jesus Christ love you. My friends, live in the expectancy of God. Share the video. Yes, it's today, Kami. It's today, and the information is on my page. And somebody, I'm going to post a flyer right after this, okay? It's today. Don't miss it. Love you.